It's time to get hot and bothered. Oh, my. You're tuned into the Talking Heat Podcast with Hot Sauce Guide and FGC. Welcome to Talking Heat with Fat Guy Certified. I'm Hot Sauce Guide. How are you guys doing? Doing good. great. I'm thirsty. Awesome. How's your How's your week going? Yeah, it's just a typical week in the life of a uh, paid college student babysitter, I guess. So that that should be on your resume as your job title. College babysitter. Like yeah. Slug, how you doing? I ate seventy five pizza rolls yesterday. I'm great. <laughs> Pushing the limits of human boundaries. Nothing that comes out of your mouth should ever surprise me, yet you continue to amaze me. I um, mean, it's depression. It's so, not that, guys. It's not that amazing. <laughs> you guys ready for our guest this week? I'm pretty excited. Super um, excited. I've been looking at this guest... sauce on my, on my shelf for like a month now. I'm so excited to finally crack it open and try it. It's a beautiful yeah. orange. It's uh, it, it's gonna burn a bit. I'm excited to see you. Uh, excited to see you take it. Um, but so said. our guest today is, Ro- <laughs> love it. Uh, our guest today is Roddy from Faya. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. We are excited to have you. Thank you. So, um. One thing that we really want to do with all of our guests is get to know them kind of inside and outside of the hot sauce realm. So uh, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. So I was born in the island in the Caribbean. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, I was, but like, that's way too far back. Um, I, tell us all. Give you know, it all. I'm from the Caribbean. I'm almost 30. I have two kids. <laughs> I quit my job today, my corporate job. I'm leaving corporate America. Woo! I'm going full time into the hot sauce. Yeah. Um, come over here, sweetie pie. Awesome. That is my four-year-old. Camila, can you close the door? Come here, please. Sorry, kids. Yeah, go the grab them up. Um, go over there. Go watch. You want to watch more, Gabby? It's a little tidbit that Slug didn't hear earlier. Uh, that you quit your job today. So that's yes, big oh, news to him. Right? Yeah. I literally put my resignation today. I'm <clears throat> officially just have two weeks left of work, and then I'm going to into the sauce business full time. Um, mm-hmm. I've been making hot sauce for uh, almost two years now. That's an exciting thing. I've, it's this whole thing. My last two years of life have been really crazy, and completely unexpected. And I'm excited for what the future brings. So yeah. Fantastic. Did I miss something? Awesome. That, I feel like I was all over the place. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. No, 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 no. 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 And yeah. I want to follow my dreams. I want to follow my dreams even more now. Thank you, Roddy. It can't happen. Yeah, you know. Believe in yourself, dude. Mm-hmm. My it's dream is just to sip uh, margaritas on an island, and so far I haven't, you know, that that hasn't worked out. My dream is to buy an island and have my own beach and my own, you know, well, margaritas are easy to get, but, like, I'm a, you can come out and have margaritas at my beach. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm taking that. That's a good invitation. I... Yeah. Last time I spoke with Slug, I feel like he told me that his dream was to um, be invited to an OnlyFans like exclusive party for like <laughs> OnlyFans creators. That's it. Uh, I feel like that's what you said to me the last time we spoke about dreams. Okay, but it's like a not safe for work party, or like where things Listen, are happening. My, my OnlyFans just like is a... grandma safe and grandma friendly, but I could go lights out at the drop of a hat. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Okay, <laughs> whoever slides into the DMs first can get whatever they want. Whoa! All right, twenty bucks uh, is twenty bucks. I mean, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> Dad always said that. Yeah, live by that motto. <laughs> So, uh, how and why did you get into the hot sauce game? How and why did I get into the hot sauce game? So, going back to corporate America. Um, so, I, work, I used to work for Johnson & Johnson. I still do for the next two weeks. Um, and at my campus, um, they acquired thanks for a the, farm. Thanks for the vaccine, by the way. Thanks. For... I didn't even get there, so I got <laughs> Pfizer. <laughs> Me too. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm on Johnson, Pfizer. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the thing is that when when I got eligible, what I got was Pfizer. Yes, sweetie pie. Mommy, mommy, 
Okay, give me a second. What happened? Okay, mommy's working. Mommy will be right back, okay? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, J&J, they acquired a farm across the lot, my campus, and they opened a community garden and were like, hey, like, you guys can plant whatever you want. And, like, I got convinced to go into it. And me being annoying, I was like, I only want to plant hot peppers. <laughs> and then I planted reapers. And then I had never gardened, really. And then when I, at the end of the harvest, I had a bunch of peppers that I didn't know what to do with. I started blending stuff, making hot sauce, gifted it away to friends and coworkers. Everyone loved it. Fast forward to pandemic, we were sent to work from home and I was losing my mind inside of the house and I was like, I need to do something. Ooh. So I started making more hot sauce and I was like, hey, I have hot sauce again this time. Like, you know, just hit me up and I'll gift you or whatever. Like, I don't care. But people were like, oh, we'll pay you for it. And I was like, oh, all right. And I had 24 bottles. And the ones they went on Facebook, they sold out in like an hour, an hour or two. Wow. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then people told people and more people. and But it was like more like still like friends of friends and stuff. And then I remember feeling like it was going somewhere when a random person bought a bottle of my website. Because I made a website that same day. Because I needed to figure out like shipping and everything. And I, I like being, you know, uh, proactive. So I made a website that same night with uh, Shopify and to, to take care of shipping and stuff. And like when some random person bought a hot sauce, a bottle of hot sauce, I was like, oh, shoot, this is like going places. And now I am I just quit my job today yeah. um, to try to pursue this full time. That is absolutely awesome. Congratulations. That's a huge step. Thank you. Probably a scary step. But uh, fucking terrifying, if I'm honest. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> but it's it, you you've certainly earned it i it's awesome that's that's that that's awesome now roddy you can't Thank answer you. this with your kids all right that's a cop-out question we don't take cop-outs here on talking heat what's outside of hot sauce are you most proud of in your life yeah what yeah you can't say your children <laughs> i don't know why he, outside why, of hot he sauce took that away from you <laughs> because yeah. everybody says that it's too easy he got him crawling on you can't say children right now <laughs> <laughs> okay, my determination to figure out things. I am very proud of myself, and I'm perfect. Going to be super popular. I feel like when I get something right here between my eyes, and like I, I, that's the one thing I see. I pursue it, and I go hard on it, and like I've pursued a lot of different paths in life, and I, I'm just a very determined person. So like I, you know, that's again, not trying to be like cocky, but like I'm very proud of the things that I can do, and when I think of doing something, I go hard on it. And, and I don't back out, you know. See, that's the kind of journalism so we're doing here. Head talking. First, that's so. the answer we wanted, right? Now, would you have said your kids if I said, what are you most proud of outside of hot sauce? Probably. Yeah, exactly. You call me a <laughs> <and I was laughs> like, oh. And you're like, you can't say your uh -huh. kids. And I was like, what? Uh-huh. Because <laughs> we want to go a journalism. deeper for you. Yeah. We should, uh, we, everybody, everybody loves their parents. Uh, or everyone loves their kids. Unless you've given your kids up for adoption. You, and elbow you love them there. and you're proud of them, mostly. I feel like they can't make you not proud until they're at least 18, maybe 16 in yeah, some parts say. of the country, okay? But they're not doing anything that's making you ashamed <laughs> of them at five to eight years old, okay? Three, everything they do is adorable and hilarious and proud. proud. Mine are two and four. See, so, but that's perfect. Everything yeah. they do, you're like, you're not dead yet. That's awesome. Like, that's that's something to be proud of. Yes. Slug's going for a Pulitzer here, so... Uh... Mm -hmm. I see that. He's going all the way. Slug doesn't even know how to spell you. Pulitzer. P U L T I Z. Fuck you. Something like that. <laughs> good, good attempt. <laughs> good attempt. Uh, so, uh, uh, how many hours a week have you been dedicating to Faya um, so far? Or recently? Well, so when I started, it was more like. Oh, I'm making a batch of hot sauce every two weeks. Um, and then it was like, oh, I'm cooking every other week. And, you know, like now I'm cooking once a week. And then I had to rent a commercial kitchen. And then it was like, oh, I have one market on one Saturday. But honestly, right now, Faya is a full-time job mm -hmm. on top of my current full-time job and my family. Absolutely. So, like, I'm working every night between, like, 7 to 2 in the morning for Faya. Um that's a full Mondays schedule. I go into the kitchen at six. Yeah, Mondays I go into the kitchen at six p.m. and I'm out at like two, three in the morning. And then I go to my warehouse and I bottle and uh, seal things. And then um, markets. It's literally an all week.
weekend thing. I work markets Saturdays and Sundays between 7 a.m. and 2, 3 p.m. So, again, it's a full-time job. And I do a lot of, like, these, like, phone calls and, like, uh, networking events and, like, anything that comes my way because I'm trying to, like, push fire <laughs> all over the place. Random just podcast. Phantom, Honey, what are you doing? a phantom hand. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you too, sweetie pie. Can you go watch TV? He's so busy. Yeah. He's grown yeah. another appendage. So proud of those kids. There you go. <laughs> they just uh, just inherently knew that you were... Uh, uh... I did that. <laughs> <laughs> They're absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Thank you. So, um, kind of... Kind of... Can you tell us about how many different flavors you have like and what kind of is the creative process you've got whenever you're coming up with them or like your taste testing and like some of the the the, the different sauces you have because we have one specific i've had a couple of your other ones they're phenomenal but can you kind of just grow it out and let us know about the brand as a whole and the, the different varieties you've got so available to the public right now i have six but i am however working on more i just haven't had the chance to actually like what happened, sweetie pie? Sit over here. Um, I haven't had the chance to like actually, again, it takes a lot of time to do it, especially when I'm working my other job. So mm -hmm. to be able to like come up with a perfect recipe and label, and, you know, for like the ingredients list and, and all of this stuff is like really hard to, especially at our rented facility, I have to use my time very strategically to be able to make what I have right now. Um, and as far as the creative process, I have no culinary experience, no kitchen background i'm not a chef i i know nothing honestly full transparency here i'm probably even using too much vinegar in my sauces um but when making a product that i wanted to be shell stable what i read and learned was vinegar helps preserve sauces and they'll keep it shelf stable and i was like drowning <laughs> i don't want, I don't want anybody, anything please. to go bad yeah. <laughs> i don't want anyone to get sick yes. i don't want anything to go bad just <laughs> if it's vinegar Literally. Up. Yeah, pretty much. Like, so it's honestly a pretty high ingredient in the in the ingredients list right now. Um, I plan on refining the, the, the process later on with some R&D and, you know, like learning a little bit more of how to make it a little less vinegary so like some of the other flavors like actually pop up a little more. Um, not like anyone has complained about it, about the mean to vinegary so far, but that's just like how, it, how it's gone for me at least. Um, and uh, honestly, when it comes to like flavor profiles and, and coming up with the sauces, it's more like, oh, I think this goes well with this. And I want more of this than this. I think this is good. And I start throwing stuff together and then blending. And I'm like, oh, this is great. That's it. This is the sauce. And I try to be very simple with my creative process when it comes to like making something. I And one thing that I did want to go... Uh, make sure it was part of my thing though was to not use sugar because i know that we have a huge sugar problem in the country and health-wise stuff is just not my thing like it started because like one day i was having a can of soda and it had like 40 grams of sugar and i was like what does 40 grams look like and i i weighed it on a kitchen scale and i was like this is ridiculous it, if you were to see the amount of sugar physically you would probably not eat that much sugar but you're drinking it in the can so i was like oh like this is yeah. crazy and then a lot of the hot sauce that I knew and consumed before had sugar as a second ingredient. And I'm like, why are we so much sugar in this? Like, it's not necessary. So that is one thing that I did want to, like, keep as part of my branding to not use any sugar. So I do no sugar, no additives, no preservatives. They're all natural, drowned in vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a slogan. A slogan. We drowned this in, yeah. in vinegar so it's safe. I like to, yeah, instead of what was the What safety. was the... Good. It's vinegared for your safety. Yeah, that's vinegar. the tagline. <laughs> yeah, that's vinegar for your safety. What what was yeah. the the first sauce that you put out? What was it? That that. So okay. I have two answers okay. for that. The first recipe that I made was for La Muerte. When I decided to create a brand and a company, I was like, I want my Carolina Reaper sauce to be, you know, a thing. But at least in in northeast side of the country, it's really hard to get reapers fresh. And I like using fresh ingredients. So I had to like grow my own and wait for the harvest. And the harvest was more like September, October. And when I started making stuff, it was like May. And I was like, I can't wait that long. I'm going to make stuff right now. And that's why my stuff is not fermented too. I do fresh because I don't have the patience for that. Um, so I went with Sweet Summer Heat. And Sweet Summer Heat is kind of like an ode to where I'm from. Again, I'm Dominican. 
I'm from the Caribbean, and I hate American winters. Um, I cannot. Right now, it's like 36 degrees outside, and I hate it. I just that's why it. I moved to the West Coast. My Christmas and <clears throat> yeah, I'm <it's> so <laughs> um, 20 minutes from Canada. But I, I'm used to like, so Christmas and New Year's Eve. Hey, sweetie pie, what yeah. happened? You're uh, fitting um, up. my you know my winters in the DR are like 75 degrees, and that's chilly. If it goes to like 60, people pull out scarves and hats and boots and stuff. You know, because that's what we right. used to. Like we're from the Caribbean, like it's ninety to a hundred degrees like all year round. So any to anything below like seventy, we're like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> um so sweet summer heat is kinda like uh, you know, an ode to where I'm from. In, in, in the it shows in the ingredients, limes and pineapples, because I feel like it's very tropical, very bright flavored and sweet summer heat because of the eternal summers of where I'm from. And in winter I wish and look forward to that sweet summer heat that I so much That's love. That's awesome. That is awesome. Roddy, is there a hot sauce that started it all for you? What's like that OG favorite hot sauce that you have that you fell in love with that made you think maybe I could do something similar? There is not. Okay, I like that. You just so you just like all equally, and or you're so, like I hate so hot sauce. People... I'll make my own because I'll do it better than everyone. I never had like something, except for the you know like forbidden Tabasco. We don't say that name <laughs> in, in the small batch community, but I did like Tabasco. Tabasco had that like smoky flavor. It was straightforward with the flavor. Like there was not like complicated things with it. That so brown still, Tabasco still that they sell like, at like Chipotle it. is like top tier in my book. I love it. You know they have they have that green one at my at my cafe, job cafeteria. I had the green one one day, and I was like, oh, Tabasco is more than just like the regular Tabasco sauce. And then I was like. Oh, this is actually pretty good, and I would use it for breakfast every day. Um, but I again, I never considered like making this into a business. So it's not like I saw hot sauce one day and was like, I want to make my own and make it better or like whatever. It just kind of like happened. That is awesome. My uh, my yeah. my my childhood grow up hot sauce was Louisiana. My dad, that's all he had, just in his fridge at all times, Louisiana. was just Louisiana, just Louisiana brand hot sauce. Mm -hmm. and, just tasted like spicy vinegar, pretty much. But that's 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 uh that's that's all he had on stock. So uh, until we started exploring in the hot sauce world, um, with the hot sauce guide over there and and slug making me do dumb shit, uh, that uh, eating hot stuff, um, <laughs> we I I was I was always just a, a Louisiana guy, and then uh, Primantis, uh, which I hope you've had. If you've traveled to the western side of the state, um, and if you haven't yet, you should. They have they they keep Red Devil on stock, which is a uh, Walmart's uh, Walmart yeah Walmart favorite. basic uh, ninety nine cent a bottle kind of shit. Do you want me to tell you what's the furthest west yeah, I've been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the furthest Lancaster, west? Lancaster, oh, okay. PA, okay. about fifty miles from Philly. I have okay. not been any further west. I've been right. all over the east coast. Okay, honey, you can stay. Go ahead and sit. Pittsburgh, close to Ohio. Um, so Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's not that far out. Pittsburgh's for Manny's is a Pittsburgh thing. It's an overrated like sandwich hours, with like... dry, dry coleslaw and French fries on it. I know it's sacrilegious <laughs> to say that being a near Pittsburgh, but I didn't grow up in Pittsburgh, so I like the city. I love the city, but I'm not going <laughs> to die for the city all the time. Well, I'm not for the city. I'm not dying for that overrated sandwich. They yell at you, they spit in your food, and it's dry cold uh, french fries and coleslaw in their sandwich. <laughs> it's overrated, alright? But I will defend it against Philadelphia cheesesteak because they are also just as bad. Not food. You... Not food. The Philadelphia we people are more so bad. Slug, I'll, I'll slug all is day. taking shots. The, Wawa so, can't so stand up this... the sheets. The cheesesteak sucks compared to oh the Fermani sandwich. And y'all Philly fans throw batteries at Santa Claus. Check yourself. <laughs> I, all right. I need to make that, that, that drive west now and like smack you. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. You insulted like all of the points of my city, man. <laughs> what happened? So there's this, there's this thing <laughs> that we call that, that Slug has where he just gets on this tangent and he just talks the talk. And in that is one of the situations where he just had uh, verbal diarrhea, where he just rambled and said anything that it just one word after the other, he just no. says stuff. It's and there was just yeah, a walking, talking contradiction there. Me. Yeah, and and his his disdain for the Philly and for Permanis has got me questioning our past like fifteen years of friendship, and it's really hurting my heart right now. 
He insults at Wawa and Cheese Sticks in the same sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Next we're going to find out he doesn't like soft them. pretzels. Cheese Sticks are so good. Cheese Sticks are so much better than for me, bro. The sandwich bread. Pittsburgh person. Dude. It's hard to defend the Pittsburgh person. However, as, defend you know, the, the, the battle in Philadelphia is always like, oh, who's better? Like, Geno's or Pat's or whatever. Like, the big names, like, in Center City? Nah, screw that. Like, for me, the best cheese that you can find in the city is, like, any corner store that looks, like, very questionable. So, Danita, the health department should close always says that. If you yes. want good cheese steaks to get off a stand, you want pizza, go to a corner store. Don't go to any of the fancy, like, restaurants. Seriously, yeah. Most neighborhoods have, like, their own pizza store. Like, you know, like, their own pizzeria. We have ones, the pizza shop, like, down the street from me. Like, we buy from them, like, ba- except for the days that I want that boxy, commercially made flavor i'm like oh one dominoes or something because they have like the very like Unique standard flavor, flavor yeah. that's always the same yeah but like when i want like a good pizza we go down the street from here and just get like our neighborhood pizza sh- pizzeria and just buy from them listen have you when ever I roll been into a to people roll Ishka. their eyes at me oh, good there was no delay on my end we must have got it cut up because i swear to god i was talking and then three seconds later you started talking over me but i will concede my point to you because of my shitty dollar general Ooh. internet <laughs> uh, I I was just gonna ask if uh, I, every time we ever bring up Philadelphia, these guys have heard it endlessly from me, uh, and probably at this point they they hate that I bring it up. Have you ever had Ishka Bibbles? Who Ishka Bibbles? <laughs> I have not. So it's it's on South Street in Philadelphia. Uh, every time I'm ever there, I always go there. Um, I, I don't go to Pat and Gino's or any other place. I go to Ishka Bibbles. They used to have only one location on South Street. Now I think that they have <laughs> two. Um, I love them for their French fries, and then they're just regular Philly. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, but they also have this drink uh, called uh, the the Gremlin or something like that, and it's half lemonade, half purple uh, purple drink, and it is absolutely delicious and i know you talked about that you don't like excessive amounts of sugar um so just get a small if you if you do if you do ever find your way on south street and go to ishka bubbles um it's absolutely fantastic and it's one of my favorites see i think i ever did like sweets when i was younger i would eat like pounds of chocolate at once like chocolate covered pretzels i would would, there was this like one store that had like two pound bags and i would eat the whole thing in a sitting and then i would like bounce off the walls high on sugar um, and then now like this side, the side of sugar, I'm like, Oh, so like, I don't know. Like I see I'm getting old sooner, but I'm, I'll definitely try that. That sounds delicious though. All right. So like, before good. we move on, okay. you have a question you like to ask every guest. I do. Now, if you thought I made you bad and drew battle lines with Philly and, uh, and Pittsburgh here, this one is definitely going to just carve, uh, uh, a chasm in the earth. <laughs> Who wins in a fight, Batman or Superman? Superman, why not? Right, two like... for two, my man, my man, exactly, exactly. It's the only right answer. It's the only right answer. I am ready to yeah, leave. I mean, like, as soon as someone says Batman, this will be a three-man show. <laughs> God is my witness. I mean, like, yeah, there's, there's like, mm-hmm. Batman's human. Like, exactly. There's no question about it. I don't. It doesn't matter how many gadgets nope. you have. You can't compete. Like, there's... Superman could just flick it a wrist. Pow! Boom! Yeah. Drink it through a straw for the rest. Of exactly. Your life. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> All right. I think it's that time. It is. I've been smelling it. I'm so excited. Pull out the bottle of hot sauce. I love the number one uh, ingredient. I'm very excited to try this. <laughs> oh, yeah, tomatoes. I'm, I'm, just, I'm a big fan of a tomatoey hot sauce. Like, I really like – I can add that to my soups and you my know, chilies. You know, I've got – I've gotten some crap over really? it. Really? People are like, oh, tomato is just a filler. And I'm like, I like yeah. the flavor. It's not about me like making it. Oh, yeah, you're using cheap ingredients and like fillers and whatever. No, I like the flavor. Hey, have you sold any? Of, it, have you, again, yeah. like my my making, it's just like a flavor. Who gives you crap? Like, if I enjoy the flavor that's of it, it, that's it. Who huh? gives sold you crap? Because I'll yeah, send them a strongly that. worded letter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do any name drops. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't. Want... Not today. You come in a good okay. day. On a bad day, though, I'll be like, give us Mark. <laughs> just send him your receipts. I send already... him the invoice that says how many bottles you sold. Next time someone's like, oh, it's just filler. All right. I love this Honestly, color. Honestly, you're going like, to like, drag my name through the dirt with my reaction because I make the hot sauce. I use it, but I, I never have it straight up like this. this time I'm gonna get I hope, yeah, oh, I'm going to be a big somebody... bitch. 
Wait, is this harder yeah, than the last one? We are known. We yes. This is this is hotter. <laughs> I just took a little the, thing off my. This is it, Carolina picture. Reaper slug. Yeah, but the Reaper's towards the end. Like Reaper got the flavor. Hannah took a little bit. She goes, "Oh, it's just right yeah, here I'll on my tongue." All right, well, uh, I'm known for being a big bitch, so this Before will be great. Be. All right, whenever you're ready. All right. <laughs> I got my shot glass. Cheers. All right. Okay, I've had initial reactions. I've had multiple Carolina Reaper sauces because my friends like to torture me. This is yeah. honestly the best one I've had. I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. I think so. I'm not saying that. There's taste. There's garlic. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sincere when I tell you. Like, that is delicious. It is. Thank you. That is wonderful. I I'm like going for a second one. I appreciate this is like, amazing. actual honest feedback. You know, like, if you don't like something about it, I want to know. I really like I'm going it. for like more, it. and I've never willingly gone for more. That's I the first. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, I, you're witnessing history. Just going in for another bite. Mikey <laughs> likes it. This is, honest good. to God, this is phenomenal. Roddy, you say you don't do sugars, Thank but you. I'm getting, I'd say some sweetness from that tomato. With tomato being number one, like, I think there's an abnormal amount of sweetness for there being no sugars added. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really liking this. I'm going to have some chicken tenders later. I'm definitely going to coat some chicken tenders in this or mix it with my ranch to get a nice creamy ranch. This is better than that weird... Mm -hmm. Garlic Reaper sauce that you made us eat all those year, that last year uh, hot sauce guide, and when we had to do it for the stream, this is much better. I like this, and I like a runny sauce. See, you don't have to use sugar. You don't have to use sugar so for like mm -hmm. sweeteners and stuff. Like I, that's why you use fruit. Like so, my main sauces are fruit based. We have the one that has pineapples and limes, the blueberry one, and the mango one. You don't <laughs> need to add actual sugar. To, to bring some sweet ah, so, yeah they, i get it on my lips this is delicious <laughs> i like the garlic you get a little bit of floral from the habanero um oh, big fan yeah it's and the tomatoes i it's and the burn is it's not too hot but it's got a really nice lingering reaper burn i would I love to put this on some wings. fried chicken yeah, like some fried chicken, some wings. So one of my, one of my nostalgic memories is um, my dad and I would go to uh, Aces Aces Tavern in McKees Rocks to watch pay per view wrestling every Sunday, and it was just this shitty, shitty bar. Um, but they would make their own like buffalo sauce in the back with like hot ass sauce, and uh, I would my dad doesn't eat a meal without smothering it in garlic garlic powder garlic salt whatever uh and there's just this like nostalgic thing in my brain that just hit right there when i had that of like dipping my french fries in this like buffalo um garlic like and it's absolutely delicious and like this is a thousand times better than that but it just hit in my brain that memory of like me just every Sunday just smothering French fries and wings in this like buffalo garlic sauce. This is phenomenal. I think I'm going to add that to the description <laughs> page because that's like a very like it makes me happy in a way. It's a very emotional connection, you know, like to yeah. trigger a memory, yeah. a good memory with this. It's just such a I was honestly an honor, so scared <laughs> because every Carolina Reaper sauce I've had has punished <laughs> me. And this is fantastic. This is great. Well, see, I feel like a lot of makers do the whole, like, oh, I want to be the spiciest out there, and I'm the hottest sauce, and I have the hottest hot sauce. Right. That's not what I'm after. I love flavor, and I'm going to say this a billion times. It doesn't matter, like, you know, that's why I use the ingredients that I use. That's why I mix my, my sauces the way that I mix them. I enjoy the flavor aspect. Yes, you want a hot sauce to be spicy because that's what, like, the point of the whole hot sauce thing, but – I enjoy the flavorful aspect of it, and if I'm drowning a meal in it, I don't want to ruin it. I want people to enjoy it and enhance it rather than like, you know, oh, this is like literal pain, you know? <clears throat> so can you elaborate yeah. um, more of the, the vision on like uh, um, the more of the vision for this sauce and like you talked about the flavor and everything like that? Um. 
Can you elaborate yeah, on your so question? Yeah, so, like, you said that, like, whenever you're, you're – you don't want to do pain or anything like that. Um, and you mentioned this earlier, so it's probably me just asking you a question that you've already answered. Uh, but since we're sp- focusing on the sauce now, um, what was, like, turkey. your vision for the sauce? Like, what it, it is called turking. It's a thing that I do um, where I ask something that you've already answered. Uh, and it, it's a it's a it's a it's a problem I have, um, but like, what was your vision for um, the sauce? Yeah, no. So I, did, like, I know this was your initial one, um, and why why did you start working on it and bring it back? Well, I knew that I wanted to use reapers because reapers are like the you know the popular bad guy in the in the game of hot sauce, and I was like, that's the ingredient that I have to have. And after growing them, I remember I have never eaten one raw like i would never you'll never <laughs> catch me eating raw peppers I'm telling you right now. <laughs> it's not, not a thing that i'm gonna do no i'm sorry G- good luck with you like you know like, mm. um but i remember cutting into a reaper the first time because i had no idea what to expect and the scent from the reaper to me the way that i described my first time smelling a reaper that i had like just cracked open fresh was a buttery floral flavor like scent and i was like this is interesting I love that a fresh reaper, you crack it open, the first note that I get is mm-hmm. butter for some reason. I'm like, why does it smell like this? It was just like weirdly like creamy, buttery, herbaly deliciousness. And I was like, this is something that I want to incorporate in like my sauces. <laughs> Stuff. Um, and I was like, I just have to have it because like, you know, reaper is like the, the grandfather right now of, the, you know, the, the, the godfather, let's say, of hot sauces right now. Um, and... And again, I know the Reapers on their own are very, very hot, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to say, hey, this has Reapers. You're going to taste it. You're going to get the flavor of the Reapers. You're going to get the spice of the Reapers without being completely overwhelming. So I decided to like make it a you know <clears throat> minimal ingredient, let's say, because it's like really far down the list when it comes to like uh, the ingredients of the sauce. But yeah, I, I, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, my my one two year old ran away with a bottle, but I think it's medicine. Um, well, you've been very generous with your time, and I know you've got to get going here in a few minutes. Um, but one thing that I always like to ask is, what what do you see yourself doing in the future? Where is Faya uh, go from here? So I just submitted the plans for my own manufacturing facility to get started getting built. That's another like big step that I'm taking cool. because I, right now I'm renting a kitchen. Um, I have a 1,800 square feet warehouse. I have two warehouses right now. I have one 700 square feet warehouse that I'm working out of, and I have an 1,800, 1800 feet one that I'm going to b- turn into a kitchen. So my goal is to – a lot of people try to go with, like, co-packers and stuff, and there's a lot of – a whole, like, um, philanthropic side to my company when I'm doing – I want to be able to work in my city, the city that like, like has seen me grown as an adult and like has given me all that I have. Slug, screw you. Philly's the best. And Wawa is amazing. Go. And cheesesteaks are great. It. <laughs> and we have the best Sandwich coffee. Chest. And like Yangling is, well, Yangling is like a PA thing. So like, whatever. You want me to get that out of there? Yeah. Okay. I'm get, digging some mushrooms and some garlic with this like coffee pot. Um, Man, they got toy garlic. Look, Ooh, they're teaching the kids right. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Garlic. Nice. Yeah. Here you go. Use yeah. this for the sauce. There mm-hmm. you go. Um, so once I have the kitchen built, I want to be able to like operate out of the kitchen almost 24-7. And my plan is to like hire locally. So I want to create jobs in my city yeah. to be able to like help people in my city. Why pay you in whatever the hell you are in your manufacturing facility as a co-packer when I can like Right now, I'm hiring my friends. One of my friends quit her job full time to come work full time with me. So, like, I'm creating jobs in my own city. I'm going. Uh, so, I have a partnership with one of the largest food banks in the state right now, which is Phil Abundance. And like, for every bottle that I sell, I donate the equivalent to a meal with, to them. And I'm planning on doing food drives with them, like <clears throat> food donations and other events, that, like to help the community. Because like, one of the things that like I learned growing up, and like my parents like really like, you know showed me was that people shouldn't go hungry like there's a lot of money out in the world there's a lot of like food going to waste (laughs) why waste it you know like so the one thing that i've always learned and i still live by is if you come to me and you ask me for food i will always feed you however money is a different thing like people want money for different reasons 
But if food is what you want, we'll eat. That there's always plenty of that. Um, so I want to continue to do that through my company. I feel like it gives me the opportunity to like help in larger scales, to be able to like help neighborhoods that needed help, you know, communities and cities that needed. And again, through the whole like job thing, I want to have people locally work with me. Um, Fill Abundance, which is a food bank that I work with, actually has a community program that is like a they teach people uh, kitchen skills and they train them as chefs and stuff, and then they help them get jobs. So I want to. I actually have a tour scheduled with them to go to their kitchen and meet their the, the current students, and I may hire some of them to come and work full time with me and help me in the kitchen. Um, and the goal is to actually just keep pushing fire and have the sauce locally made, handmade in small batches, and produce as much as oh, as much of it as we can in our own capability, um, and just have it. I want to conquer the state. I want to conquer the city, mm-hmm. conquer the state conquer the east coast and eventually go national all made in philadelphia so that's kind of like where i see myself going and i don't only want to expand in, i don't want to stay in the hot sauce game i want to tap more into like the, the entire food industry and create an entire line of spices and seasonings and rubs and condiments and who knows maybe there's a restaurant that, in the is line a vision. that opens up that is a vision that is that's focus. awesome yeah yeah, I'm already like working on like uh, food recipes for like I want since I have I'm gonna have my own kitchen, I might do like little pop-ups and like invite friends and family again. That's how, how things start. And other business friends that I've met over the last couple of over the last year really, and be like, hey, I'm hosting a dinner at my kitchen. Like, come over and try my new food. Let me know what you think and just maybe just give out food for free, like on a Friday, every month or something. You know. And make it out of my kitchen and come down because I I'm the, my warehouse is in a really poor neighborhood. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming you know of Kensington in Philadelphia. We are like drug central for heroin and stuff, and there's a lot of poverty in the area. So like if I can like cook I don't know 200 500 meals on a Friday and like bring it down to the you know one of those areas he needs and just donate food for for fun like you know not for fun but like giving it yeah giving like, back that sounded horrible. <laughs> yeah, I I would love to do that. So that's kind of like the entire vision as a company i want to be able to and i'm hoping that now that i'm going full-time that i'm able to do it because i it's something that i dream about and i want to be able to like i'm not in it to to, to make money i don't want to get rich being rich is a problem <laughs> and the more you have the, the more problems come with you so like i want to be in a comfortable position and where i'm able to like satisfy my own needs uh live comfortably and have something for my kids and my family and then also help the people around me and all of that is going to come out of hey, that is amazing mm-hmm. That is awesome. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, uh, Roddy. It's between your eyes. It's right here. I am, you said you're most proud of yourself. It's right here. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm yeah, excited to that. watch that evolve. Um, well, like I said, we really appreciate you coming on, and um, we will be in touch. I know uh, this weekend I'm gonna be putting out a review, so I'm excited to share my thoughts on that. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you for having me. And again, like, sorry, my my two year old went into the kitchen really quickly, and I was like, watch what she was going. Um, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you for having me. And again, anytime you guys want to, like, yeah, I'm more than you know happy to come back on and and do whatever you guys want to do, and we can work online and do whatever. And do you want to like? When does this go live? Uh, Where do you put this? Well, eventually it'll go on TalkingHeat.com. Um, but uh, right now we're just working up a backlog. We're going to put out a bunch of episodes. Um, Hot Sauce Guide over there is literally just making power moves. And every every other day he posts a new person that we secured for, uh, for Talking Heat. And we haven't even put an episode out yet. So... Um, so uh, we're making we're making moves and we're just building up a little bit of a backlog and 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 we're gonna put it out. Um, he's the real boss. Uh, I'm just the one. I'm just his little minion here. So when he says when he says publish it, <laughs> it gets published. Well, I feel like you know Mark has a large web of makers right now that he can like tap into like. Oh, we need a maker to come on and, and talk with us. Like, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's exciting, and I think people have been receptive to it. I'm literally just doing this because I've always wanted to do something like this, and <clears throat> these guys are good at it, and I want to do it with them. And uh, 
it's literally just to let you guys publicize yourself and uh, share your story. And um, I just want to help support the community. So this is my way of doing it. Speaking of, can you awesome. let us know where to find you? I don't think we talked about it a little bit and you mentioned it earlier, but like, this is your plug. Like, where do we buy your products? How do we get them? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Where are you on social media? What your social media tags are? Exactly. This camera, this camera, this exactly. camera. Exactly. That, that's, I'm, uh, I don't uh, want to get sued, <laughs> but that's who I'm ripping off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my website is www.faya.co, F-A-I-Y-A.co. Um, by Hot Sauce. Same for like Facebook and Instagram. Um, my Instagram, I'm always on it. So like, I'm, I try to be as active as I can and I always post memes and photos and I'm always like... Uh, having coffee wars with slug about who's who has the best coffee sheets or wawa so like you, you, come join coffee's the wawa just side dirt water to me so i mean there um, yeah, i'll say wawa's better coffee you could have that <laughs> it's generally i'm generally the the the, the, yeah, he's the coffee uh, yelling at you the group. about here okay uh, yeah um yeah wawa's yeah, better coffee you, know, you win simple as that hands down <laughs> all right cool thank you that, that's all i wanted i wanted you to admit that you know i win <laughs> Not today. Well, if nothing else came out of that, we uh, finally settled settled that debate. Thanks for listening to another episode of Talking Heat. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. For more information, visit TalkingHeat.com.